All right, thanks, Grace. Of course, Alabama, not the only state getting off to a chilly start this week. Grace tells us 80% of the nation is also experiencing temperatures below freezing. That includes places as far south as Austin, Texas, even Orlando, mm. Florida. That Arctic blast expected to deliver the coldest Christmas in nearly 40 years in the Midwest. And officials say the weather will likely affect holiday travel. Yeah. They're urging people to make alternate plans for that travel. And with these freezing temperatures, there's a few tricks to keep your heating appliances safe, especially for those of you traveling during the holidays. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live from Marshall County after speaking to a contractor about how to protect your home in the cold. Well, one of the most frequently asked questions here at Corbin's, your indoor air quality specialist, is how do I keep my house safe from the cold while well, I'm out of town? Especially right now during the holidays with so many people out on vacation during these freezing temperatures expected for Christmas, a lot of people aren't going to be home to protect their appliances. While some contractors recommend leaving the thermostat set to 55, Brad Corbin says with temperatures in the teens, maybe even dropping lower, a safer option is 68 degrees. Now, I know that might seem warm and costly for those traveling for multiple days, but Corbin argues repairs from a busted pipe and flooding, they're going to cost a lot more than a high electric bill. I'd rather spend a few dollars more on keeping my home heated. And if I'm out of town knowing I got that peace of mind that, uh, that hopefully my water pipes are going to be Good, and if you're going to be gone two or three, two weeks, if you got some relatives, I'd go by, I'd at least go by and check on the home. Another tip is to leave the water running. Just a slow drip, and that's often enough to keep your pipes safe. Corbin says you can even go one step further and turn on two pipes, two faucets, one with hot water, the other with cold. While this might seem like a costly bill for both your electric and your water bill, Corbin says it's a much cheaper alternative than coming home from the holidays and having thousands of dollars worth of damage. Reporting live in Marshall County, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, uh, Nicole. And Corbin's, your indoor air quality specialist, recommends checking garage doors, crawl spaces, and attics to make sure everything's buttoned up, closed, secured before that cold weather comes.